Alright. Yeah, this is a kind of different Chris Cornell. This is a Chris Cornell improv lobster world. And I think it was a misheard thing from the crowd. I think that's what it spurred this little Chris Cornell improv. But yeah, let's go. didn't catch all the words to what he was saying um the riff was fire and the melody was fire even though he's just messing around that must just be what it's like like listening like what he just does to write songs just plays around like that comes up with a melody i bet all of chris cornell's songs had that ridiculous first lyrics because he's just singing whatever getting a melody together um but I quite like these more than probably anything else. These little weird live things and or the lives where he's sitting telling a story about whatever about the song or about whatever. Like because they feel a bit more like special. Like something like that, like is like a him imp improvising really like captures it's like capturing a just a a real freak moment in time and yeah yeah some of these stories is, is them ones i like too where he tells a little story at the start and it's he's always so funny for someone who writes like, especially with sound gardens so if someone who writes such dark music he, he he's very funny he's got a very like quite light-hearted personality i think like a very fun, playful type of um, person. But yeah, I have to say, that riff was hard. Even if he was messing around, that was still a hard rift. Riff. People don't like it when you say riff. But um, yeah, that's the reaction. So, wait. 